Because this one would be heavy. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be able to pick it up. One, one of the ways we. <laughs> you want to see? One of the ways we classify minerals is what we call density. We compare them to the same volume of water. Pyrite, Pyrite density is five and a half. It means it weighs five and a half times more than the same amount of water. This is a galena, its density is seven. So if these were the same size, and this weighed five and a half pounds, this would weigh seven pounds, okay? This weighed five and a half ounces, this would weigh seven ounces. Any other question on any of this stuff? What's this? This? All right. Good question. We'll talk about this first. Another way we can tell minerals for how they break. This is quartz. When you strike quartz and it breaks, notice it does not break smoothly at all, does it? Okay. The mica over here, we, we saw it broke smoothly in one direction. Now, fluorite, you can break it in one, two, three, four directions. And you can take out a cubic crystal of fluorite and break it into these shapes right here. Okay? Now, quartz doesn't break smoothly at all. Now, you were asking about this right here. This is actually also quartz. And you notice it's two different colors. Both of them are quartz. Uh, both of these colors are due, due to a trace bit of iron getting into it. A purple quartz we call amethyst. This color quartz we call citrine. We make jewelry out of it. Now the only difference between these, at some point in time, the citrine used to be amethyst, but it got heated up real hot, like 900 degrees Fahrenheit. And when it gets that hot, it'll change color from purple to yellow. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? Any other questions on any of this stuff? Yeah. 